Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using moment distribution method. Before analyzing, let us see the beam on time. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. Also, there is an overhanging span CD. In the span AB, there is a point load 72 kN acting in the center. In the span BC, there is a uniformly distributed load 24 kN per meter acting for the full span. In the overhanging span CD, there is a point load 15 kN acting in the point D. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the point B and in the point C, there are hinged supports. Span AB is 4 meter long. Span BC is 5 meter long. The overhanging span CD is 2 meter long. In this beam, totally we have to find 5 moments. In the fixed support, there will be a moment. Here, the moment is MAB. In the joints, there will be two moments. In the joint B, there are two moments, MBA and MBC. In the joint C also, there are two moments, MCB and MCD. So, totally, we have to find five moments. Also, we have to find three reactions, RA, RB and RC. In the joint C, we can easily calculate the moments because on the right of C, there is overhanging. To calculate MCD, we have to find the moment in the point C from the point D. In the overhanging span CD, there is a point load 15 kN. The distance of overhanging is 2 meter. When we multiply the load 15 with the distance 2, we will get MCD which is equal to minus 30 kN meter. Since MCD is acting in the anticlockwise direction, we have to apply the load with the negative sign. So we have got a negative moment. The values of MCB and MCD will be same but only the direction will be different. MCD is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative. MCB is acting in the clockwise direction, so it should be positive. But the values of MCB and MCD will be same. In this concept, we can calculate MCB. MCB is equal to 30 kN meter. So, it is the easiest way to calculate MCB. We have to just change the sign of MCD. So, we will get a positive moment. Now, let us calculate the fixed end moments. No need to calculate the fixed end moments in the overhanging span CD. Only calculate the fixed end moments in the span AB and in the span BC. First, let us calculate the fixed end moments in the span AB. For that, we have to assume the span AB is a separate fixed beam. In the span AB, there is a point load 72 kN. It is acting on the center. The formula to calculate the fixed end moments are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. M of AB is negative because it is acting in the anticlockwise direction. M of BA is positive because it is acting in the clockwise direction. Let us apply the values inside the formulas. W is 72, L is 4. When we apply the values, we are getting M of AB and M of BA. Now, let us calculate the fixed end moments in the span BC. In the span BC, 
there is UDL 24 kN per meter, it is acting for the full span. The formulas to calculate the fixed end moments are minus WL square upon 12 and positive WL square upon 12. Here W is 24, L is 5. When we apply the values inside the formulas, we are getting M of BC and M of CB. In the moment distribution method, we have to calculate the distribution factor. We have to calculate the distribution factor only in the joint B. Because in the joint C, we can easily say the distribution factor values. For the overhanging side, the distribution factor will be 0. And on the other side, it will be 1. So the distribution factor for CD will be 0 and for CB it will be 1. In this case, we have to calculate the distribution factor only in the joint B. To calculate the distribution factor, we have to find the stiffness. Let us see the formulas to calculate the stiffness. If the fair end is fixed, the formula is 4EA upon L. If the fair end is hinged or with roller support, the formula is 3EA upon L. If the fair end is continuous, the formula is 4EA upon L. Using the formulas, let us calculate the stiffness in the joint B. In the joint B, first let us calculate for BA. For that, from the joint B, we have to look at the point A. In the point A, there is a fixed support. If the fair end is fixed, the formula for stiffness is 4EA upon L. Length of BA is 4. Let us apply that. Finally, for the stiffness of BA, we are getting EI. Now, let us calculate the stiffness for BC. For that, from the joint B, we have to look at the point C. In the point C, there is a hinged support. If the fair end is hinged, the formula for stiffness is 3EI upon L. Length of BC is 5. Let us apply that. Finally, for the stiffness of BC, we are getting 0.6 EI. We must be very careful. We should not consider the point C as continuous because after the point C, there is overhanging. That is why we applied the formula 3 EI upon L. Now, let us calculate sigma K. For that, we have to add these two values. After adding, we are getting 1.6 EI. Now, let us calculate the distribution factor. The formula is K upon sigma K. Using the formula, we can calculate the distribution factors. Now, let us start making the moment distribution table. In the table, first let us enter all of the members. Then let us enter the distribution factor values. In the joint B, we have calculated two distribution factor values. Let us enter them. For CD, the distribution factor is 0. For CB, the distribution factor is 1. In the overhanging end, there will be no distribution factor. So, the distribution factor for DC is also 0. In the fixed end, there will be no distribution factor. So, for AB, the distribution factor is 0. Now, let us enter the fixed end moments. In the span AB, we have calculated two fixed end moments. In the span BC also, we have calculated two fixed end moments. Let us apply them. For CD, we have calculated the final moment MCD. Let us apply that also. We have already calculated the final moment for CB. MCB, we 
which is equal to 30 kilonewton meter. So in the table we have to make CB 30. For CB the fixed end moment is 50. When we add minus 20 with this 50 we will get 30. So we have released CB and made it 30. Now we have to give carry over from CB to BC. Half of this value will go to BC. When we divide minus 20 by 2, we will get minus 10. Now let us calculate the adjusted fixed end moments. For AB and BA, there are no changes. For BC, we have to add these two values. After adding, we are getting minus 60. Now let us make the first distribution. We can make the distribution only in the joints. In the joint C, we have already calculated the final moments. For that, we have released CB. So we cannot make any distribution in the joint C. So in the joint B only, we can make the distribution. In the joint B, the members are BA and BC. For BA, the fixed end moment is 36. For BC, it is minus 60. For making the distribution, we have to add these two values and then multiply with the distribution factors. First, let us do the distribution for BA. For that, we have to add these two values and then multiply with the distribution factor at BA. When we do that, we are getting a negative value. So, we have to enter inside the table as positive. Now, let us do the distribution for BC. For that, we have to add these two values. Then, multiply with the distribution factor at BC. When we do that, here also we are getting a negative value. So, we are entering inside the table as positive. Now, let us make the carryover. We cannot make the carryover between BC and CB because we have already released CB. In this case, we can make the carryover only between AB and BA. For AB, there is no distribution. So, we cannot make the carryover. From BA, half of 15 will go to AB. 15 upon 2, we will get 7.5. In this analysis, we can't continue further in the joint B for BA and BC. There is no carry over. In this case, we can't continue further. Let us add all the values and find the final moments. When we add these two values, we are getting minus 28.5. When we add these two values, we are getting 51. When we add these two values, we are getting minus 51. So, in this analysis, we have calculated all of the final moments. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the moments. Now, we are going to find the vertical reactions. First, let us take the span AB and calculate the vertical reactions. In the span AB, there are two moments. MAB which is acting in the anti-clockwise direction and MBA which is acting in the clockwise direction. By taking moment about B, we can calculate RA. By applying the rule sigma V is equal to 0, we can calculate RB1. Now, let us take the span BC and the overhanging span CD and calculate the vertical reactions. When we take these two spans together, no need to consider MCB and MCD. They will get eliminated because one is acting in the clockwise direction and one is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. 30 minus 30, it will be 0. In this case, we have to consider only MBC, which is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. 
by taking moment about C, I am calculating RV2. Then applying the rule sigma V is equal to 0, I am calculating RC. Now let us add RB1 and RB2 so that we will get RB. Now we are going to make the shear force diagram. Before drawing the diagram, let us calculate the shear force values. I am moving towards right hand side. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using the values, we can draw the shear force diagram. Now, using the loads, we can draw the free moment diagram. Using the end moments, we can draw the end moment diagram. Then we have to combine the end moment diagram and the free moment diagram so that we will get the bending moment diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.